Hey everyone, Nick Cohen here from the Hyperactive Bookworm. Oh, July. July. I just, I'm not even sure how to begin this wrap up, but we'll see how we go. All right, so July has been one of the craziest months I have had in an extremely long time, but it has also been one of the most eye opening and you know those aha moments in your life and that's been July so to start with I quit my job unexpectedly but not not really surprisingly uh, the biggest comment I've had from people who know me in my private life is I can't believe you've lasted this long so I'm that happened in a kind of flaming blaze of I have had enough and then I realized I really have had enough and it is time to just stop saying sorry to stop letting my life be a little too dictated by fear or concern about how I appear to other people and some of that um, inability to put up with the, the stuff that I was putting up in my job has a lot to do with y'all and the amazing the ama oh, okay I'm not driving and touching my phone I promise um, and the amazing community that I have discovered in person and online these communities overlap with several little communities but they're all my tribe and this includes the the writing community as a whole because I do believe so many in the writing community are just amazing the reading community is just beautiful the LGBTQIA community has brought me to tears with the love and compassion and support that we have for each other and it's so nice to see a move away from that infighting and I know it still happens and it breaks my heart every time but I am been surrounding myself more with people who who have true acceptance for differences and I love it. I love it. The indie writing community, those that I'm really getting to know and those that I'm spending so much time with have been so supportive of me as a writer, even when I <laughs> seem to balk about calling myself that, even though I have books published and I have more in the limelight and all of this has helped to make me realize that I was putting up with things that I really didn't deserve to be put up with. No one deserves to have it put up with them. But I just, it's time to take a stand and embrace my life as the main character, basically. And that's pretty much how July has ended. Um, next month, August, is um, my 40th birthday. Yeah, I'm still, I'm, I'm sort of still coming to terms to the reality of that. I've said it a lot over the last few months, almost like I'm wanting to drill it into my head. But it is, it's kind of become this moment where I'm like, I cannot be 40 and still let these things govern my life. So August is also going to bring, it's still going to bring all my book reviews because I love them and I love supporting indie authors. I love supporting Suffolk authors. I love supporting all of the indie authors out there who are just, they're just wanting to tell their stories and they love it and they have the same passion. I love being able to talk about books with fellow readers who just, who get as excited as I do about the way someone can use words and the way someone can just pull you completely, entirely and utterly into their world and their story and these characters are so real and I love it. So how can I ever stop doing that? I 
am, however, going to try and work on talking more about my own writing, doing some videos about my writing processes. Not sure how that's going to look yet. I don't know if I'll just do an update at the start of um, each monthly bookshelf wrap up, sort of like what I'm doing now, or if I will also do sort of, you know, weekly writing videos of their own. Um, I, I guess I'll see how it goes, but tell me what you guys want. Like, feel free to contact me or leave a comment and suggest what you might like to see because I love doing these videos and I love being able to interact with others who are just passionate about words and passionate about life. All right, so that was pretty much my July. And in that, somehow along the way, and maybe it's that's what's kind of saved my sanity, um, I've managed to read 10 books. And that was really exciting to me. And they have all been amazing. Look, I'm not going to say that I took a phone call while I was driving and then completely forgot to finish the actual review. But hey, let's move on. So I am glad that, kind of glad that I forgot to do it there because that would have really tested my memory and I wouldn't have had the paperbacks with me or been able to go too much into them. So let's let's look at the bright side, hey? All right, so my July wrap up, 10 books. I have done individual reviews on all of these books, so I'm just going to touch base on them. Um, and I'll also put the links down for all the individual ones if there's any of the books that sound good to you that you want to have a look at a more in-depth review of. All right, so let's see if I can open this up. Of course I can't. Of course I've lost it. That's what I do. All right, okay. So the first book that I read for July was A Curious Woman by Jess Lee. Oh my God, this is so adorable. Sapphic, cozy mystery, set in Australia, absolutely wonderful. I did do an individual review, but I did also get to interview Jess Lee for this and it was amazing. She is wonderful. Her answers are fantastic and I just love it. Also, in the interview, she talks a little bit about the fact that there is going to be a sequel, which... Oh my gosh, I think I just about like, <sighs> I just about passed out with the excitement of that, that one. All right, so, oh, hang on. Let me actually show you the uh, book cover as soon as I have actually done this. All right, so, <laughs> so that's A Curious Woman by Jess Lee. Awesome. All right, the next book is da -da 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 by A.L. Brooks. Never Too Late for Heroes. Oh my God. I loved this it was so funny superhero ones who have in essence retired and all of a sudden their powers come back and they have to go and figure out what the hell's going on there is heartbreak there is two main romance threads through this and they are so fabulous the way they parallel and then don't um the characterizations are beautiful such a great book go check it out all right next book is Kickback, another Aussie. Kickback by KJ. Brilliant. It made me actually interested in a sport book. I'm not sporty, but this was brilliant. I loved it. There was mystery involved. There was heartbreak. There was oh, characters overcoming their own, their own pasts and histories and issues. And it was so great. KJ's beautiful, flowy writing. All right. Next book is Morrigan by Eric Schubach. I listened to this like I have for all of the books and my heart was a little broken because it's a new narrator but I did enjoy a really big main theme of this book about how science and magic can co-create and that really works into my wheelhouse so I love it. Uh, next is ooh, Inked. Ah. Inked by Rachel Renner. So this is, I think, the only non-sapphic book I read this month. 
but oh my god it was fabulous i want a sapphic version of this book it was so brilliant urban fantasy oh my god portals involved really intense sex scenes that i thought would make me go a bit ooh fm ooh. but they were fabulous it was brilliant it was so well done the writing was absolutely great the humor fantastic all right, An Art to Love by Helena Hart, which is such a cool cover. So cool. I actually got an art copy of this. I believe it comes out 1st of August. Right, something just slammed. Not sure what that was. Um, 1st of August, sorry. So that comes out 1st of August. Beautiful small town, returning to small town. Um, that whole lusting and crushing and loving over someone for years and never being able to tell them. It was delightful. All right. Next one. Let me have a look. Was, yay, To the Tangle by Melissa Braden. Book number two in the Tangle Valley series. Oh my God, Gabriella is just everything. This happy, excitable cook who chows and chows and pew, everything. And she's fabulous. Mixed with Ryan, who's a player turned wanting to have a relationship and all the dynamics that go with that. All right. Never Tag Nora. Yay. By Cheyenne Blue. Another Aussie book. Uh, well, Aussie... <laughs> Another Aussie author. <laughs> we'll claim her. I claim her. Um, so Never Tired Nora, brilliant book of Cheyenne Blues, her only book that was set in London. Everything else is set in Australia. It's a novella. It's brilliant. It's the start of this great series. So cool. Romeo and Juliet as an actual romance, not a tragedy, and with people who actually talk and are grown-ups and, yeah, brilliant. All right, now, ah, we're nearly there. Okay, another book two of a series. <laughs> um, Daughter of Fire, The Darkness Rising by Karen Frost. Mwah, loved this book. Think it was just the best continuation of book one. I actually enjoyed this book more than book one. I think just because there's more action and book one set everything up and book two just went Phew! and brought it all together and it was amazing excellent now the last book i read which i've just done the review for and that's how i realized that i hadn't actually finished doing this the wrap up um whoopsie anyway is the trip by robin alexander my first book by this author and oh my god abby Craden's narration mwah, and the humor oh my god i have laughed so hard in this book that review should, I'm hoping, trying to get that up today. Um, this will be coming up later in the future. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Anyway, so they're the 10 books I've read. Thank you so much for watching and for listening to my writing ramble at the start. Like I said, let me know what you guys want to see, what you think. Feel free to contact me. Or if you don't mind other people seeing it, comment. If you do like the video, I really appreciate the likes and any subscribes. They help me be able to continue this this just passion project of mine to be able to talk about books and reading to be able to work on my writing life is so crazy at the moment but I am determined to keep positive and to see the bright side and see all the good things that have come out of crazy July so anyway thanks so much guys and take care of yourselves